Our latest mission is simple. Autumn is in the air and Premium Light Academy is setting out to create an all new landscape photography tutorial with a focus on fall colors. Our journey will take us to some of the most beautiful destinations in all of America. Join us in a behind the scenes look as we travel throughout the great Rocky Mountains in search of Colorado's most iconic destinations. Fall colors are among the most popular topics in the entire history of photography and knowing what it takes to capture this amazing time of year is absolutely critical to your arsenal of skills. Mother Nature provides the raw materials and the rest is up to us. There are miles to travel and much to learn and we can't wait to take you along for the ride. Greetings friends and welcome to Premium Light Academy. We are your one-stop shop for improving your photography skills. This is it, fall colors, the Super Bowl of landscape photography. We got a great show coming up. I can't wait to get going and kickoff starts right now. Welcome to Colorado. Mountains, trees, reflections, and of course, gold. Lots of gold. Country roads cut into the wilderness, sending landscape photographers across the vast arena of autumn. Time is of the essence, as there are only so many days before the vibrant canopy of orange and saffron falls from the trees and disappears into a dark and snowy winter. All across the land, thousands of cameras soak in as much golden beauty as they possibly can, searching furiously for the perfect alignment of light and nature. The stakes are at their highest. Miss the shot, and it may be years before another fall presents the right set of conditions for you to capture your favorite image. There are a lot of factors to consider. Are the trees healthy? Is there snow on the mountains? And of course, the weather is always a toss up. The point is a lot of things can go wrong, which means on the rare occasion when everything actually goes right, you need to be able to nail that shot. And herein lies the motivation for our expedition. This is why we are here. This is why photography education is so critical. Landscape photography presents a lot of challenges and you have to ask yourself, do you have what it takes to capture mother nature at her finest? Well, let's go find out. Our journey begins in the San Juan Mountains. Here we find endless aspen forests sweeping across the foothills. Jagged snow-capped peaks rise into the Colorado sky and the landscape is filled with all kinds of photographic opportunities. We also find traces of a past generation. The gold rush brought a tidal wave of pioneers, prospectors, and adventurers to Colorado in the middle of the 1800s. And although the gold and silver are long history, the remnants of these mining operations remain a part of the landscape to this day. And while the frontier days have long faded away, Nature endures more vast and beautiful than ever before. All right, friends, it is time to talk mountains. We have the absolute trifecta going on right now. Perfect fall colors, beautiful broken clouds, and snow on the peaks. This is everything that a landscape photographer could ever hope for. So let's take a look at our scene. I like to start with the big picture. Wide angle lens, traditional style, trees, mountains, sky. Our country roads take us into the wilderness where we are confronted with a number of traditional landscape scenes. The long overdue summer rains have been kind to us this year, slashing across an oppressive drought and filling out the forests with healthy, vibrant trees. We begin, like most days, on the side of the road. America's highways are actually a great way to experience fall colors. You don't have to be an elite athlete to enjoy landscape photography. In fact, some of the best images we've ever captured here at Premium Light Academy were in fact on the side of the road. But first, a couple of ground rules. When shooting near roads, always try to keep safety top of mind. Please don't stand in the middle of the road. Cars tend to drive very fast and their drivers are often distracted by all the beautiful scenery. If you want to include the road in your composition, look for a large pull-off and try to keep a safe distance from traffic. Fortunately, the farther we go into the wilderness, the less likely we are to encounter other travelers. And this gives us a good opportunity to try out a little old fashioned visual storytelling. We begin with a winding country road, which leads to a distant snow capped mountain. Follow the road and we encounter an old split rail fence wandering through a meadow of fiery red grass. And just beyond the meadow, we find ourselves on the shore of a shimmering reflecting pool, which creates the perfect mirror image of endless aspen forests rising up to the mighty San Juan Mountains. 
All in all, it's a great little adventure. The wide-angle lenses take in a nice series of panoramic images for the course, and we're off to a great start. And now, with our traditional big picture images safely secured, it's time to change gears just a bit and try something different. By now, we have explored the vast open landscape. Our fall color photo expedition has led us to capture towering mountain chains and sun-soaked aspen forests. But as the day presses on, we begin to see a change in the air. Clouds roll across the mountains, and with a slow and deliberate wave, the mighty peaks are overtaken by a silent monolith of gray. As cloudy skies prevail across the landscape, our vibrant sun is subdued. The light softens, highlights retract, and shadows disappear. To the uninitiated, an overcast day is disappointing. The mountains can no longer be seen and the beautiful blue skies are nowhere to be found. A dreary fall day can be very depressing indeed. However, to the seasoned photographer, gray skies signal a golden opportunity. As the clouds settle in, they cast the landscape into a beautiful soft light. No longer are we plagued by harsh sunlight and deep shadows, and this new lighting equation gives us the perfect opportunity to venture deep into the forest for a more intimate setting. It's time to take our sights off of the big picture and focus instead on the little things. Welcome to the forest. We are in the beautiful San Juan Mountains in Colorado and a massive weather system has just moved in. It's very foggy and the clouds have completely obstructed the tops of the mountains. So today is not an ideal time to be shooting traditional big ticket wide angle landscape scenes. Foreground, middle ground, mountains in the backdrop. The clouds have completely eradicated the mountains, but that's okay because it gives us the opportunity to come and find more intimate scenes like this one. So let's take a look. All right, now, as you can see from our little snippets of video, we have an incredibly complex scene going on. There's a bunch of sticks and twigs happening down in the valley, and then up here, the sky is starting to give us some exposure burnouts. So what we wanna do is we wanna use a telephoto lens to really sink our teeth into the meat of this composition. I wanna be able to isolate those beautiful aspens right down the middle. So we're gonna end up creating a cool looking panoramic. I'm gonna bracket five frames. I am at F11. I'm gonna bracket from minus two, minus one, zero, plus two, plus one. That's gonna give me all kinds of range. Even though this scene actually is very evenly lit, I like to have that extra range just in case. And we are at 1 13th of a second. White balance is set for shade, so we should be good to go. All right, let's rattle off a few frames, see what we can get. And now, as our final images come to life, we are treated to an absolutely spectacular display of strange and unusual beauty. The most notable curiosity to this scene are the aspen trees all listing in unison. They create a delightful composition of diagonal lines cutting across our evergreens, which grow straight up and down. This crisscrossing of trees places this little oasis into a world all its own. We also enjoy a nice mixture of color. The forest has not yet reached its peak, giving us a wonderful compilation of both greens and yellows. But let's just say that your thirst for that ultimate fall color leaves you wanting for a little bit more saffron. No problem, find your way back to the same place a few days later and presto, our green leaves have turned into a curtain of solid Colorado gold. Nearby, the listing aspens continue to climb up the mountain, all the while mixing with our steadfast evergreens. The beauty of these intimate scenes is that we quite often have them all to ourselves. Let's take a moment to think about that. The landscape photography scene has literally exploded in recent years. Many of Colorado's iconic locations have become so popular that you literally find yourself shoulder to shoulder with other photographers. In this case, chances are pretty good that you're all going to get the exact same shot. However, when we change gears, enter the forest and narrow our focus, we often find ourselves completely alone. And so, as you explore the woods on your next Fall Colors expedition, chances are very good that you will come up with an image that no one else has ever shot. And in this day and age, a truly unique photograph is the rarest of species. All right, friends, if you've been paying attention, then you have noticed that there is definitely something 
missing. One minute we're standing there on location and then the next instant we have this beautifully finished photograph. So we are obviously skipping a whole lot of steps right down the middle as to how these images are actually created. So if you are interested in learning more, we got you covered. Shoot on over to our website, premiumlightacademy.com and check out our fall colors tutorial. We will take you on a detailed step-by-step -step journey of our entire creative process. We will start off by shooting on location, we will speak extensively about composition, and we will finish off each lesson with our digital workflow in Lightroom and Photoshop. We will leave no stone unturned. So if you are interested in taking your fall color photography to the next level, be sure to check out premiumlightacademy.com. Just a few short lessons will have you shooting like a pro. Throughout our journey, we encounter a number of different photographic situations. Country roads take us into the wilderness where we discover the grand sweeping beauty of the Colorado Rockies. And as the clouds move in, we find ourselves focused in on the more intimate scenery that doesn't always garner as much attention from the mainstream. Either way, this vast landscape offered up a spectacular variety of destinations that we used to build the ultimate fall color photography course. This little adventure is just a taste of what we were able to discover out on the trail. Our mission is to help shape your knowledge as a photographer and to provide you with the skills to be successful in virtually any shooting situation. And so, if you are interested in taking your photography to the next level, we are here to help. We take you on a step-by-step -step journey across the entire fall colors process. From shooting on location to editing in Lightroom and Photoshop, this course will help you master the skills to come home with stellar images every time. All right, friends, as always, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you had a lot of fun on our little fall colors adventure. I certainly did. So be sure to go over to premiumlightacademy.com, check out our tutorials. We have all the tools you need to take your photography to the next level. And one last thing, be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. We have a lot of cool new content coming up and I don't want you to miss out. So that's all for now. We'll see you in the next lesson.